Hey, hey my friends, have you ever noticed tartar or plaque building up on your teeth? Today, let's dive into what dental plaque and tartar are all about. You know, tartar is just dental plaque that's gotten hard on your teeth. It starts off invisible, but then it turns yellow or brown over time. Once plaque gets hard, it feels like a crusty coat on your teeth, something you can even feel with your tongue. It's disgusting, huh? So here's what's going on. The bacteria that naturally live in your mouth start munching on any leftover food bits or sugar. They create this sticky film around themselves, sticking to your teeth. Inside this plaque, the bacteria build a calcium shell, like a little house, and it gets hard and stuck to your teeth. At this point, you usually need a dentist to scrape off the tartar. If you leave tartar in your mouth for too long, it can lead to bleeding gums, receding gums, and even gum disease. Plus, this bacteria makes acids that pull calcium out of your teeth and bones, leading to cavities and loss of tooth enamel. Now let's get into the top three remedies to prevent plaque and tartar buildup. Remember, this video is for educational purposes, so always talk to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Remedy number one, wheatgrass powder. Every morning, mix one quarter teaspoon of organic wheatgrass powder in a glass of water. Swish this around your teeth and mouth for three to five minutes every day just before brushing your teeth with a regular toothpaste. Wheatgrass is full of chlorophyll, which fights plaque-forming bacteria, prevents tartar, freshens breath, soothes gum inflammation, and is great for mouth ulcers and sores. I recommend doing this at night too, as plaque tends to form more while you're asleep. Remedy number two, baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Tartar and plaque bacteria can't survive in a non-acidic mouth. After your normal toothbrushing, mix one half cup of water with one quarter teaspoon each of baking soda and food grade hydrogen peroxide 3%. Brush with this mix to balance your mouth's pH and prevent future tartar buildup. This also keeps calcium in your teeth preventing cavities and tooth loss. An interesting fact is that baking soda and hydrogen peroxide are natural substances your body uses to fight harmful microbes. Remedy number three, vitamin K2. Consider taking a 100 micrograms of vitamin K supplement daily to strengthen your teeth and bones. K2 directs calcium to your bones and teeth, helps avoid tooth decay, enamel loss, and stops calcium from building up in the wrong places. Also, eat a diet rich in minerals from seafood, shellfish, and cruciferous vegetables to keep your teeth mineralized and your body healthy. A few important tips. Weak teeth aren't just a part of getting older. Tooth enamel is actually tougher than steel. When your mouth has a neutral pH of around 7, your teeth and gums stay healthy. But when it turns acidic, between a pH of 3.5 to 5.5, that's when cavities, enamel weakness, and bad bacteria kick in, causing plaque, tartar, and gum disease. Cut down on sugar and consider healthier alternatives like xylitol or erythritol. Xylitol, often in sugar-free gum, breaks down the sticky films of plaque. Other natural herbs for dental health include clove oil, oregano oil, cinnamon, garlic, turmeric, peppermint, and sage. That's it for today's video. I hope these tips help you keep your mouth healthy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. I wish you a beautiful and healthy life. See you in the next video.